Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, a true supergroup of the 1970s who is 70s gold, but very few know the full story. Best known for being the musical force behind the Muppet Show, and maybe the epic coke-induced tantrums of drummer Animal. The Mayhem rocked the 70s for six full years before the Muppet Show even debuted in 1976. Dr. Teeth, the coke and sex addicted flamboyant frontman who co founded the group in 1970. Sergeant Floyd Pepper, guitar virtuoso, who dated bassist Ban Ho and very ugly Pam. Then, of course, Animal, wacky, addicted to spotlight and whores. But many overlooked the Mayhem's co founder, sex extraordinary and tortured musical genius, Zoot. Many don't know Zoot, or the fact he's the older brother of ex GNR guitarist Slash. Former Beatniks Teeth and Zoot met as Manson family members in 69. They loved drugs, music, and dinner. Manson free by 1970, they met local homeless hippies and lovers, Floyd and Pam. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem was born. Teeth and Zoot purchased drummer Animal, a Keith Moon clone gone wrong, from Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, a future Muppet Show co-host and convicted pedophile. Dr. Teeth and the Mayhem toured hard through the early 70s looking for a break. And that break came in 1976, when they debuted as the house band for the Muppet Show on primetime TV. Mayhem album sales shot through the roofs for the next two years. And while Animal and Dr. Teeth got most of the airtime in the fame, it was Zoot who was the talent and brains behind it all. Zoot and the gang enjoyed the fame, rubbed elbows with the stars, everything was coming up Mayhem, but by late 78, it began to change. Zoot and the Mayhem would be undone by their own vices. By late 78, Zoot had set sail on a drug and sex voyage that would make even Charlie Sheen blush. New Year's Eve, 1978, Zoot and Bapa show host Kermit the Frog allegedly engaged in a threesome with Liza Minnelli at Studio 54. Allegations Kermit denies to this day. By 79, Zoot's heroin, marijuana, LSD addiction started to come to work. Here he is passed out during a show taping in April of 79. In the summer of 1979, Zoot made a very poor choice by moving in with Animal. The two partied in ways that made Led Zeppelin look like fags. It also didn't help that the landlord was the sweetest chef, a notorious bookie, pimp, drug trafficker, and drug maker. Zoot and Animal was arrested and suspended that summer for brutally beating Scooter because they didn't care for his ways. Trouble followed the pair that fall when they constantly showed up high on cocaine on a daily basis while filming the movie Great Muppet Caper. Animal couldn't even be in this scene. Co-star Fozzie the Bear trashed them on Johnny Carson. Fozzie endured a vicious beatdown after the show, but could never prove Zoot or Animal were involved. In the winter of 1980, Zoot began having regular sex with bandmate Pam, then co-pimped her out with Swedish Chef, much to Floyd's dismay. This caused a huge rift between Floyd, Zoot, and the band. The only reason they didn't break up is because they were under contract to be on the Muppet Show. The music suffered Zoot, co-founder, main writer of the band since 1970. By late 80, he was a clap-ridden, sex-crazed junkie who gave nothing to the band. For the next year, the show remained a hit. Movie deals came. Zoot started getting less airtime in parts because Kermit the Frog called him a liability and a joke. In what was the show's final year, Kermit brought in Lips, a trumpeter who was put in the band to help cover for the erratic Zoot. Unfortunately, Lips would only make it a few months before melting down and going to rehab. It was Zoot that turned him on to the drugs. In March of 81, the Muppet Show was cancelled. The band also split up. Many say it took Zoot until 85 to realize this. In the summer of 81, the band played a goodbye show on the roof of the Muppet Theater. Zoot left early with Gene Simmons and Brooke Shields to have a threesome. 
The Muppets went on without Zoot, even performing music with other big acts. Zoot's phone didn't ring. Eventually, though, through the 80s, Zoot and the Mayhem reunited for movies, but refused to record a tour. Zoot always became enraged when Lips was part of the reunion. Zoot was bloated and fired from various studio gigs for tardiness, incoherentness, and not knowing songs. He toured with little brother Slash on the Use Your Illusion tour in the early 90s, but after suffering six strokes and ODing thrice, Axl Rose booted him from the tour. After a rehab stint, old chum Alf helped Zoot out by getting him a co-producer gig on a hit comedy, Perfect Strangers. After Strangers was cancelled, Zoot did the musical score for the box office flop, Erotic Clown, and the even bigger flop, Bashful Barney. Over the next decade, Zoot dated Kimmy Gibbler from Full House, then was married to Smurfette for six years before she died of Smurf AIDS in 2006. Out of music and off heavy drugs for years, the mayhem reunited in 2009 with Zoot to begin work on a new album and a new Muppet movie which was released in 2010. Zoot is now dating 30 Rock co-star Jane Krakowski. They met during this recent photo op. There's Jane giving Zoot a good old-fashioned H.J. Go Zoot! Zoot and Jane recently announced they are expecting a boy in early 2012. It's been a long, tough 40-year road for Zoot but with a new broad baby and a new mayhem album due in 2012 zoot is back you have just watched a look back zoot narrated by tops mcbain an irish english scottish slovak former chilean warlord poet and award-winning journalist recorded and produced at lovely german village studios in columbus ohio music by Santo and Johnny and Lana Del Rey. And from all of us at a look back, we wish you good evening.